passionate interest in helping people create meaningful funerals is to remind us all of the distinction between making decisions and making informed choices. Usually when you make a decision, you have pretty limited information. You know, somebody might say, well, do you want to have a visitation or not? Should we play music or not? Should we go to the grave or not? Well, that's a yes or no. That's a decision. But the more you find a caring funeral director who does this frequently and has knowledge to help inform you, then there's a distinction they can help you make between a, a decision and a choice. Because a choice is about increasing your knowledge. So find somebody who will help you understand why it is to consider having a visitation. You know, that's a great example of how a lot of people think, well, I don't want to burden people to come. People love to come and support you. So if you learn that one of the functions, for example, of a visitation is to activate your support, you're more likely to do it than if you don't understand it or you think, well, a lot of my mom's friends died. Well, a funeral's for the living. What about your friends? They may not have even known your mother, but they want to come and support you. And when you see them come through the door, you'll never forget how important it was to you that they cared enough to show up for you. My father had um, lung cancer, and um, he had beaten that. He had a lung removed, had some um, therapy, um, and was cancer-free for eight years and had a, a relapse in the other lung. I saw my father in intensive care. It was the last time that we, we spoke, and we didn't know it was going to be the last time we would speak. We thought that, you know, he would come back out of the hospital, um, but he had an embolism and, and passed the day after I left. As my father wished, they did a direct cremation. Um, it's what my mother said to the funeral home he wanted. It's like, he didn't want to be a burden, he wanted to be cremated, let's just do this. We had a memorial service at the church and you know, there was no physical presence of him there. It was in the church and us three children got up and spoke and my mother spoke. Um, and many of the people in the church didn't know my father. It wasn't as much a memorial of him as it was sort of an introduction to people who didn't know him well, which was kind of odd. I imagine that having a, a dialogue with a funeral director is probably the best thing to do and have um, an open conversation with them. And while my father may have said, yeah, I want, you know, I want it to be over with, you know, quickly, um, I want to, to everybody to, to move on, I, I would hope that people would ask, like, how can we do that, but also some of these other things. Hopefully you can find an expert that can um, field your questions and you can have a good dialogue with that's two-way and you know, they can be a consultant for you and an advisor.